Hello, this is Table 10, and today I'm going to do a review of the game system, the Vectrex. And in honor of Batman, I have my Batman movie action figure. It's one of the old ones from 92. I'm going to keep them right on my thing where I keep my tapes, right by the Vectrex, so if you can watch. Okay, so let's get into details. Get my guitar cord out of the way. Okay. Let's get into details with the system. Okay. The Vectrex system, of course, had a built in screen. It only displayed vector graphics, which are just lines. So, not going to be like Xbox 360 graphics. Um, so it's a black and white monitor, no color. That's so they came up with the idea for for screen overlays, which displayed color. All it is basically you can hear that it's basically a sheet of plastic. So, um, uh, you have to plug it in, no batteries. Here's the side of the machine. Um, there's a handle right on the top. On the top. Mine says something up here. It says, I need my light, but no. Let's open the window. No, it doesn't say anything, but on the back of the machine, um, it's got a brightness thing, which meant all of them, or many of them, the screen would make a cracking, um, uh, it would split the graphics. Okay, so... The game cartridges looked, they were, looked like this. It's got your label, no top label, so you couldn't, you had to stack them, like, so you could see them, so you couldn't just go, you had to pull them out, pull them out, pull them out, look. And they're about one and a half inches, inch, and this one's a rip off. Um, they did make a, um, they do make, uh, copies, like a reproduction cart for the system, but I want the real thing. And if it's one that they already made, I'll buy it maybe, but this is the one. That's a cartridge inside. And, okay, now let's look at control. This could be a two-player machine. Um, here's the controller port. You, I haven't seen anything like this um, that you could plug in a different controller, so. Here's the controller. Here's the joystick, and four buttons, and this can plug into the cabinet, like this, this plugs in lots, okay, so you plug it in, plug in your controller then these li they have little things that stick out keep your controller like this wrap up the wire put the little holes on your controller from right here in those
just like that. So uh, you don't have to leave the controller out. And there's a little knot right there that you just press down and it releases. And it has sticky things to, so it won't slip. And the wire is not that long. It stretches out but it doesn't go far. Like it couldn't go to my bed. It That's about couple feet and okay there's two controller ports uh, uh, sound speaker reset button volume and power and then you watch it gameplay you don't need a television just turn it on and to turn it on there's a little knob that you just go here I'll zoom in I don't know if you can see that. There's a knob right here. Click it. And you get a little nice buzzing sound. And this goes very loud. As you can see, it goes pretty loud. And there's the screen. That's the screen you get up for when you first turn on. That trucks, GCE, entertaining new ideas. And... Then the Mindstorm built-in game to the system comes up. Player 1 can change. Player 2 by pressing the first button. 1, 2. Say, since I only have one controller right now. And it starts automatically, but you press 4 to start it. Then your character comes. Then you have to shoot the mines. And basically, it's asteroids with um, a little twist. And asteroid used vector graphics too. In the arcade, it did. But um, this one is. Very fun. Okay, see now it comes up to that screen. That means you're advancing to the next level. Then that's your mind character. Okay, and to reset it, this is what it is. I, I was clicking it, so don't say my vector is messed up. Okay. I pressed two players. Now to show you ripoff. I have already shown you it in my other account, table ten, because I'm gonna post this on my other account, but I'm not telling you that's it. Ripoff. Okay. The it's that's where you're sticking the cartridge on the side. And then you can play it's okay, and then here's the the screen overlay. There's four ridges to stick it in and stick it in and then turn on this oops turn on the system the vectrex comes up and then Rip off. Okay, basically, you can change the level to 16, and you can change, you can change it. Yeah, let me zoom out. Okay, you can. Okay. You can change the players, and you can change the game. So you can change it up the level, and the hardest level is 16. 
not sure yet. There's only three diamonds when you originally start out with, I think, six. And you have to shoot these guys, because you don't want them to steal your diamonds, basically. Um, tells you the that there, and, um, this is a great system. Um, if you're a retro collector like I am, then I recommend buying this. But you can find them for like a little over a hundred dollars. Not not that much over a hundred dollars. But I got mine at a pretty decent price. And and I hope you liked my review. Um, thank you. Bye.